So what's going on gas gang? Today we are back on the strip lining up three powerful all-wheel drive builds against each other. And that's right, the Mighty Teg is back out to play. But man, have I got my work cut out this time. Stay tuned for this one, it's gonna get emotional. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. Hey yo, check this out. I just want to give a massive shout out to Athletic Greens for reaching out and supporting the channel by sponsoring today's video. The product's called AG1, an all-in-one nutritional drink developed to provide everything your body needs for optimal performance throughout the day. See, they call it foundational nutrition. Every one scoop of AG1 is nine health products in one, giving you the equivalent of multivitamins, probiotics, minerals, and more. AG1 provides nutrients that support and sustain recovery, endurance, brain health, gut health, and keep your energy levels healthy throughout the day. It's built to support immunity, and I've been drinking AG1 for a few weeks now, and it's becoming a little bit of a morning ritual for me. One of these before breakfast, and I'm good. It just simplifies my wellness. No need to take extra supplements, pills or tablets. Everything I need is in this one drink. Cheers. Tastes damn good. Tastes healthy. I know a lot of us have been slacking with our health this year, so let's start next year the right way. Go check my unique code in the description and get a whole year's free supply of immune supporting vitamin DK32 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. It's time to get healthy people. A massive shout out to Athletic Greens. Check the links below and let's get back to the video. So welcome back to the OG battles where we pull up, race and put our cars to the test. There's no hiding out here. And today we've got two modern tuned, notoriously fast all wheel drive car scene legends stepping up against my customers one-off built all-wheel drive old school creation and it's going to be nuts and as usual in partnership with race logic we're going to be carrying out two sets of races first up today it's a quarter mile roll race next up it's a drag race to the quarter mile all races are best of three and the v-box performance box touch will be recording data such as zero to 60s quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these savages perform let's get over and meet all cars and their owners so first up today, welcoming back Sambo from Sambo's Tires to the Battles, driving his crazy 700 brake horsepower, 3.8 litre, V6 twin turbo powered Nissan R35 GTR, built and tuned by Night Racer. So, modifications include the Chaos Stage 4.25 Performance Pack, consisting of high flow intakes, 1050cc injectors, cast downpipes, a KR 102 race exhaust, MVT large intercoolers, and an ECU Tech custom Godzilla tune on both engine and gearbox ECUs. The GTR is running on Michelin PS4S street tyres all round and weighs in at 1740 kg, giving him a power to weight ratio of 402 brake horsepower per tonne. The GTR drives all four of its wheels via its six speed dual clutch transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against and welcoming back Chaz to the battles in his crazy 700 brake horsepower, 3.8 litre, flat six twin turbo powered Porsche 911 Turbo, built and tuned by ES Motor and ES Motor UK. So, the 911 is running on the ES600 package with modifications that only consist of an ES Motor exhaust system and a custom ECU tune by M Ray Levent. The car's running on Pirelli P0 street tyres all round and weighs in at 1650 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 424 brake horsepower per tonne. The 911 Turbo drives all four of its wheels via its PDK 7 speed dual clutch transmission. And last but not least, it's me, Jamie, representing for the all wheel drive Honda boys in my 620 brake horsepower, 2 litre inline 4 turbo powered Honda Integra DC5 Type R, built by AutoTalk and tuned by Romain at Racecal. So, modifications include a fully built CSS K20A2 engine, Supertech valve springs and Skunk 2 valves, a Speed Factory Sidewinder manifold and Pulsar T51R GTX 3582R turbo, a big custom external fuel system, a fly-by wire conversion, a complete custom all-wheel drive conversion with full wagon running gear, insane 1000 horsepower drive shafts, a Quave sequential gearbox and fully built billet drag cartel transfer box, the cars mapped by Romain from Racecal on a Cyvex S7 ECU. 
the DC5 is running on 808 RS semi slick street tyres and weighs in at 1270 kg with additional turbo kit and all wheel drive conversion, giving it a power to weight ratio of 488 brake horsepower per tonne. The car drives all four of its wheels via its five speed quaff sequential gearbox. Sambo, bro, welcome back to the channel. Oh, bro, Thank good you. to see you as always. Um, now, we got a freeway race today, bro, and it's yeah. you versus me versus a 911 Turbo S. And it's crazy because, you know, a lot of the time when you race people, you don't really know them, but mm. I've obviously made many a video of you. I know you very well. Definitely. And also, it's an ES car coming down, so it's like, it's a, it's a tricky no one. No pressure. You know what <laughs> I mean? So, I want to know how you think the day is going to pan out because, um, look, we've got three four-wheel drive cars. Um, you're about the same power as the turbo. However, you're a little bit heavier. Um, I'm the lightest, mm. less power. What, what, how do you think it's gonna go today? I reckon because of the surface and it's a bit damp, mm -hmm. I think the weight advantage of this coming off from a dig, mm -hmm. we might have it. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Rolling, I don't think we stand a chance, but we'll give it a go. Okay. Um, but we're out here, man. Come on. We'll Win or this. lose? Win or lose, bro. If anything, we'll just whip out the TT. You get oh, he's Come talking on. about a TT. <laughs> he's got the rematch clause already. Yeah, yeah, but um, listen, bro, whatever happens today, uh, good luck. Thank I'm going to try and gap you, but it's all love. It's all love, bro. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go, go man. Let's go. Let's go. Charlie, welcome back to the channel, brother. Thank you for having me, brother. Bro, my pleasure. So you were here last in a TTRS. Correct. You've upgraded to the Porsche gang Just now. Just a little bit, yeah. Congratulations, bro. A lovely car. Thank you, so, bro. Um, I appreciate it. Right now, I feel like I'm up against it. I, on paper, would put you down for perhaps winning the rolls, definitely winning the drags. I'm, I'm hoping if the stars align, I'll keep up with you. I don't want to discount the GTR because I've seen him no. all up. He's yeah. looking mean. He's flying, <laughs> flying. But what's your opinion? How do you reckon the day's going to go, drag race and roll race? Um, I think we all know you. I think you'll win the role. Okay. You're going to win the role, Jamie. Know. Come on. I don't know. Hopefully, the launch will do me proud. Hopefully, yeah. that's what I'm after today. Yeah, yeah. I, the, I, P, uh, the P0 tyres aren't helping the most, but. Yeah, I saw that. I got a little bit more confident when I saw those, <laughs> but I still wouldn't count it out. It's a Turbo S. We know the launch strategy is second to none. Um, so, look, whatever happens today, I think it's going to be it's a real interesting be. race. It's going to be interesting, you know? Um, so, bro, let's just line up and do it, yeah? <laughs> yes, all, all running right, games. Bro. Let's go. Man. Hand. Wicked. All right, guys, so today would be my second outing, although it's my, or would be my third race today, uh, with the Integra. And obviously, I don't like to pick easy races, hence why we've got a 700 brake horsepower 911 Turbo, uh, and we've got a 700 brake horsepower GTR. It, it's always good to benchmark the car. Obviously, I've got the least power right now, and obviously, um, manual to a certain extent, or there's more room for error in this car. How I think the day's gonna go, I'll be real, I think the Turbo is gonna dip me off the line in a quarter mile. I don't know if I'll be able to run him down. Um, it will be interesting. I think if, if the stars align, I might actually dip the GTR off the line. I don't want to eat my words. I think I should get the GTR also in a roll race. The roll race between the Turbo S, again, I think it'll be very close, uh, but that's that's if the stars align. There's, there's a lot of variables. I'm just hoping the car stays together in one piece. And you know what, after today's race, that's it. I'm turning her up. So uh, fingers crossed it goes well. And uh, yeah, whatever happens, let's race. We're all gonna be battling it out to take home the Sugar Coat Cup today. And first up, it's the roll races. But before we get cracking, let's hear what all these beasts sound like. <laughs> So, the idea for this one is for all cars to roll together at an agreed speed. The left car sets the pace, and as soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes, Jamie! Uh, 
And after a crazy run down the strip, unbelievably, the mighty Integra makes it to the finish line first, beating the 911 Turbo by around two car lengths. The GTR comes last around a car and a half behind. That was insane. Let's line them back up and go again. All right, guys, that was absolutely sick. I can't believe I just took the W. Guys, you know how crazy this is to actually see a 911 Turbo when you're right a GTR on your left and you're actually pulling away from them. I can't believe that what just happened. I'm hoping it weren't a fluke, man, but pray for us. Let's take it home here. Let's take it home. Ready? All right, let's go. Let's go then. And in a legendary second race, I managed to come from behind and run the other two down, making it to the line first, beating the 911 by around a car length. The GTR once again comes third by around a car and a half's length. To be able to take on the Turbo S, to be able to take on the Turbo S and the GTR, both running more power, you know, dual clutch transmissions, so much room for error here, and to win. Honestly, man, blown away. So, let's take a look at the best 100 to 200 kph times extracted from the runs using the V-Box PBTs. And although not my personal best, the Integra still runs the fastest 100 to 200 kph time of just 5.42 seconds. The 911 Turbo runs second fastest, going 100 to 206.30 seconds, and the GTR, not too far off pace, goes 100 to 200 in just 6.77 seconds. That's data to back up the results. And round one goes to me and the mighty Integra. Next up is the drag races. And with two modern, notoriously fast, all-wheel drive cars looking for payback, I've got my work cut out. Place your bets. This is pressure, man. I've got a GTR on my left. I've got a 911 on my right. I'm ready. And in a crazy first run down the strip, the monstrous GTR manages to make it to the finish line first, beating the 911 by around a car length. After a poor start, I come last around two car lengths behind. Damn. Let's line back up and go again. Come on now, now's your time to shine, car.
bring it in the way of that. And that savage 911 flips the script and beats the GTR to the finish by around a car's length. Once again, I have a nightmare start and find myself crossing the line last around two car lengths behind. It's one to the 911, one to the GTR. Let's line them back up for a decider. I really need to win this to stay in the game here. Let's get it. And once again, that rapid 911 shows the GTR who's boss and takes the win by around two car lengths. I, on the other hand, have another shocker and fail to cross the finish line. So let's just take a look at the fastest 0 to 60 in quarter mile times achieved by the cars. The 911 goes the fastest of the three, hitting 60 in just 3.07 seconds. The GTR, not far off pace, hit 60 in just 3.11 seconds. However, both cars just off pace to make it onto the ultra competitive leaderboard. And way off pace this time, the Integra hit 60 in a rather underwhelming 4.25 seconds. However, holds on to second position from a previous battle on the all wheel drive manual leaderboard. Then take Taking a look over at the quarter mile leaderboards, the 911 once again proves the fastest, covering the quarter mile in 10.96 seconds at a speed of 131 miles per hour. The GTR once again proves second fastest, running the quarter mile in 11.09 seconds at a speed of 130 miles per hour. However, both cars just off pace to make it onto the ultra competitive leaderboard. Once again, the Teg goes slowest of the three, covering the quarter mile in 11.52 seconds, but the highest trap speed of 135 miles an hour. The Teg holds onto third position on the all wheel drive manual leaderboard from a previous race. And round two goes to the 911 Turbo. So, taking a look back at today's races, it's been a real mixed bag of results, with high highs and low lows. My Integra absolutely dominated the role, showing just how capable it is against formidable opponents. However, just could not get the launch right this time. On the last run, the Cybex actually put the car into protection mode, and I've got an update of exactly what happened today, our rectifications and more sick news coming very soon. The damp conditions not helping anyone today, but the dogfight between the 911 and GTR was absolutely epic, with the 911 just coming out triumphant and taking the drags. Shout out to everyone involved in today's races. So guys, let me know in the comments if the races panned out the way you thought they would today, and of course, which one of the three you'd prefer to own and why. Also, don't forget you can save 20% off the whole Sugarcoat product range using my unique code, OG20. Links can be found down below in the description. Thank me later. 
I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and thank you all sincerely for your continued support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll be back same place, same time with another high octane OG battle. Peace out.